All right, guys, we got this. Let's go. Gun wide, trips deep. Pros next, go. On one, on one. Ready? Three. Ready. This video was made possible by the EA Game Changers program. What's going on, everyone? This is ANCAP24 here from Huddle.gg. And in Madden 22, there was a major overhaul on playbooks in which we saw all 32 teams get changes to those playbooks. In this video, we're gonna break down the top five biggest transformations and playbooks that we believe you should be able to take a look at and have great success to start the year in Madden 22. Let's jump right into it. And at number five, we got the Buffalo Bills playbook. The Bills came off a successful year in which Josh Allen balled out showing his impressive arm and ability to make plays with his feet. In Madden, the Bills playbook was reconfigured to better highlight Allen's dual threat ability. Let's start by looking at the under center formations from last year. Each one of these still remained the same, but there were a few additions on top of what they had last year that's going to help you with your offense. Now the first one is the single back bunch tight end, something that was in a lot of the live playbooks last year got added to the Bills, plus two formations that were new to Madden 22. The first one is called IZ Close, which has a nice unique ability to run and pass, and then Strong Z Close, which is very similar to Strong Close, but you've got the um, a different play set that was added to Madden 22, and both were going to be added to the Bills playbook. Now, in addition to these under center formations, Bills also received three pistol formations that they did not have in the past. These formations include pistol open flex close, pistol trips, and pistol spread. Each of these have some unique plays that can really have a fun element to your offense. Now, the biggest overhaul for the Bills playbook is gonna be coming out of the gun formations. You're gonna see that what you've known from the past is not gonna be what you're gonna see for Madden 22. They removed a bunch of formations to include doubles, doubles flex bills, doubles Y off week, doubles Y flex, split bill, tight slots, trips tight end flex, trips Y flex, and wing slot offset. With all these removals, the, the, the book is definitely going to feel uh, different and refreshed. Let's go ahead and take a look at what they replaced them with. So the formations that were replacing the ones that were removed are split slot, which is going to be kind of your equivalent to split build, just going to have a different uh, play set. Normal Y off and normal Y off weak, which are going to be kind of the ones that are going to place the gun doubles. What's nice about normal Y off is going to have some of these fake jet halfback seams and jet pass powers and touch passes, which are going to get your quarterback involved when it comes to using his legs. Um, then you've got stack Y off, which is a nice formation that's going to give you a little bit of a different look and different uh, route combinations. The Y off X close. Now this is something that you pretty much know as an exclusive formation in the Patriots playbook. A lot of people call it the U trips because it's been named several different times. Um, it's definitely a lesser version, but you're gonna see that you got slot out. You've got this play called cross slot post, which is new. Um, and then you've got scat and you've got drag wheel and curl flat. So um, what used to be just a Patriots exclusive has now gone over to the bills in a little bit less capacity Capacity, but it's still there. Um, then we're going to skip over to tight. This is going to replace tight slots. It's not the same formation. It's got different plays in it. Spread is going to be something that's different. Um, that's going to basically replace the gun doubles. Um, I think it's Y flex. Um, so you can have a little bit of a different spread option to uh, basically go off of. And then the trips halfback weak. And the Trey Y Flex are going to be two formations that are going to replace what was removed. Now, it's still going to keep the same empty, but you can see how the Bills playbook got a complete overhaul where um, if you're used to a certain style, this one's going to be a little bit different and definitely something that we recommend checking out in the beginning, beginning of Madden 22. So now let's get to number four with the Los Angeles Chargers. Typically in Madden, when there's a coaching change, you can assume that there's going to be a playbook change to occur with that team. That is no different with the Chargers as they hired Brandon Staley to be their head coach, and they also hired Joe Lombardi as their offensive coordinator. Lombardi came from the New Orleans Saints, and this playbook has a really big Saints feel to it from the base core of it, but it's been combined with other formations to make it different and something you're definitely going to work checking out. 
So because this playbook has been retooled and basically built from scratch with a little bit of that Saints feel, I wanna go through the whole playbook with you and kind of tell you where the Saints feel is to it, but also show you what other formations are in it. So with single back, what you're gonna see is that you got um, wing tight, you've got wing pair, you've got deuce close, which is not typically in the Saints playbook, a slot, which is not, and then you've got wing, uh, wing stack, wing flex, bunch base, and then you've got the tight Y off, which is definitely a, a, a uh, formation this year that you're going to see a lot more often, where it looks kind of like a tight slots, but it's um, got the, the Y position off the line of scrimmage. Then you've got doubles flex, you've got Y trio, and then you've got single back tray. So all nice formations that are going to be kind of, uh, most of them about half are the Saints, then half are others kind of thrown in there. I form, you got that new formation called Z close. Um, that's just got a handful of plays. It's got nine. As you can see, it's got a nice stretch in there and a 26 duo. You got close flex, which you're gonna be able to kind of see that you've got another stretch in there and you've got ISO and then you've got eye tight. So you've got a lot of different um, eye formations that have the ability to get to the outside and inside when it comes to the run game. Next is gonna be um, strong slot flex which is gonna be something that um, you're also gonna have a stretch, you're gonna have a nice PA post shot, dive. You can see that you're gonna have some nice outside and inside run options. Weak, you're gonna have weak pro and um, weak close flex, um, formations that have been in the Saints in the past, um, but you can definitely see how that was added here. Now let's talk about the pistol bunch. This one's worth mentioning because Saints usually have the pistol bunch tight end. This one has Pistol Bunch, think more of the Baltimore Ravens, um, and I believe it's also in the Pistol formation, but it definitely has you know, a little bit of an opportunity to kind of give you something different to work with. Now, Gun, this one's kind of got half and half. Kind of go over it with you here. You got split, slot, uh, split offset, you've got the wing slot offset, you've got the flex Y off weak, which is typically in the Saints, Y off trio week, which is typically in the Saints, as you can kind of look at some of these um, plays that might be a little bit more familiar with you. Tray offset is basically a different type of version of trips tight end that's been in the game. Bunch, now tight offset tight end, we all know that that's um, been a Saints and, and Packers kind of staple. That's in um, the Chargers playbook this year. Stack Y flex as well, uh, which has also been in the Saints in the past. And then you got spread double flex, tray Y flex, tray open. Um, all formations that um, you should be familiar with, with from the past. And then you've got three nice options when it comes to empty. If that's something that you're interested in, you got the empty bunch wide, which was um, something that was added, you know, was in the Buccaneers playbook last year. Empty trio and then empty base flex. So you can see that this form, this uh, playbook, um, it has a huge transformation because it's nothing like it was last year. It was something that basically they took um, the base of the Saints, added some formations, definitely something that you want to look at because it's got a really nice under center running game. It's got a lot of the popular formations that made the Saints playbook what it is. And then they threw some more, um, you know, formations on there to kind of add to it. So if you have played in the past, like the Saints, I would definitely suggest looking at this one as it's definitely gonna be something that could be a viable option for you um, to kind of be your base offense if you choose. Now let's jump into number three, which is the Miami Dolphins. They're one of the great stories of 2020 and a team that's definitely on the rise. With Tua as their quarterback, they got a significant transformation in their Madden 22 playbook. Let's go take a look at the changes. Let's first start off with their under center formations as they lost their ace, their doubles, and the Y trips, but gained six new formations to replace those. Let's look into those formations together. Now the six formations in which um, the Dolphins gained to replace those, um, start with single back deuce, um, definitely gonna be something that's going to be able to replace single back ace pretty easily. And then you've got your doubles off close, where you've got um, you know a slot receiver and outside receiver to one side, but then a close formation more compressed to the other. And then the wide uh, deep trips, which is an interesting formation that's been in the game before um, and has made a comeback to the Dolphins playbook as it used to be in there in the past. But it's definitely something that you can um, you know kind of build off of a bubble screen, 0-1 trap, and some other options 
ones as well. Now, when it comes to the other ones, what you've got is strong H-Wing, which was definitely a um, powerful formation in the past, especially Madden 20. And then you've got um, the weak H-Wing, which is basically just the alignment of the uh, fullback to the opposite side. And then you've got wing slot. So all those formations are going to be something that's going to be helpful for you when it comes to helping run the ball um, and have some under center options. Now, not only did they go ahead and gain those six formations um, and only lost three when it came to under center, they gained six formations out of pistol. Um, which is a huge add when it comes to variety. You're going to see that um, they have the weak slot open. Um, as you can see that I toggle through that. They've got the pistol ace, which is a nice formation to be able to have um, you know, symmetrical to each side. Ace you off, very similar. It's just the difference between one of the tight ends being off the line of scrimmage. And then you've got wing slot. Um, which is going to be something that you can kind of toggle through with a lot of your formations when it comes to personnel with your single back. Then you get a tight slots and the last you're going to have the doubles Y off. So you can see that they gained all six of these formations um, from pistol to be able to round them off when it comes to some of the additions. Now let's go ahead and jump into the gun formations and show you how um, basically what they've lost and what they gained and kind of show you the whole transformation of this Dolphins playbook. Look at what they've lost and then we can kind of show you the additions and kind of show you how they definitely had a net gain throughout the entire playbook. So the first things they lost is gun bunch, gun doubles, gun doubles flex Miami, Doubles Y off Miami and split close Miami, as well as wing flex weak. Now, if you look at the formations that they have gained, uh, what you're going to see is that split slot is going to be that one that's going to kind of replace split close Miami. Um, definitely split close has been a better formation in the past, but it does have a very similar look as a different play set. So you do can uh, definitely get a little bit of use out of it, um, but that probably not a net gain on that one. Now they've added uh, Deuce Close, which is definitely a formation which um, has its um, ability to um, be a little bit of a more compressed set from a gun standpoint and uh, definitely can uh, be a nice addition. A slot, um, something that you've probably been um, accustomed to having in the Patriots playbook. It's in the uh, Dolphins playbook um, this year. Normal Y off close, a new formation, um, something that's got the doubles that has the ability to have the slot and outside receiver to one side and then compressed to the other. So you're going to be able to kind of use that. Tight Y off weak is going to be one that's going to be something that's going to be very similar to a tight formation. Um, you can see that you got compressed on both sides. Now, normal off week is another one that's new. Um, basically, it's going to be more of a gun doubles type look. Now, why off trips week was um, something that was in the playbook last year. Trips tied in as well. Now, bunch Y flex is something new this year. It's basically a bunch to one side and then the tight end is uh, flexed out to the opposite side. So it's probably gonna lose a little bit of blocking when it comes to being able to block the edge on one side, but it definitely opens up a lot of opportunities. As you can see, some of these plays are pretty unique and um, I definitely see people using a little bit of it this year. Now, bunch left, but you got bunch offset. And if you remember from last year, from Carolina, you got the double post, you got mesh spot, definitely a big add. So what you might've lost in split close, you gained in bunch offset, which is definitely gonna be something that you can use. And then um, I'll go here to all these here, tight slots, spread white slot, all the same. Um, so, you know, when you go to uh, trips, tight end flex, that was there last year as well, trips wide flex. All those were there, Empty Miami and Empty Base um, Flex was also there. So the biggest things that you're gonna see in Miami is you gain six pistol, you gain a three additional you know, uh, single back from what you've lost, and then the gun has definitely been kind of upside down to where you gain you know, some of the things that you may have not seen in the past and definitely have the ability to kind of just get a refresh in this playbook as well and um, could definitely be something that um, you know people feel comfortable in so you know definitely something to check out as we go to our number two here on our list so at number two we're going to be looking at the baltimore ravens playbook which is a bit of a surprise because last year with lamar jackson being the cover athlete they spent some time on that playbook and definitely um, made it a little bit more tailored towards him 
and they went ahead and basically transformed it even more this year. So the first thing I want to do is go into under center and show you how much they took out and then do the same thing with gun formations to make sure that you see, you know, kind of how it was gutted and then what they did to replace it. So what you're going to see here is that um, single back, um, you know, basically just the only thing left is wing pair. Um, only thing left on I form is wing and then um, on strong there's wing as well There's three under center formations in this for in this book now If you look at the pistol formations everything was kept so even on the under center They kind of took almost everything away pistol remained the same and then if you look at gun um, They did take a little bit of formations away with the gun double Y off monster stack tray offset trips tight end flex Y trips weak and wing now, I'm gonna go ahead and go through what they've added, and then it's not also what formations they've added, it's that they've added plays within formations that already are in there to make them even that much more viable. So let's go take a look at that. So the first formation we're gonna be looking at is Split Wing Nasty. It's only three plays, but it's definitely something that is going to be designed for your quarterback to run. And then with that same motion that's on the play, they have a nice uh, PA play that goes with it. Um, what's nice about it, it also has two other split formations. One's called Split Clo uh, Close Pro, which has got nine plays in it. That's got a nice little bit of, of an ability to get your quarterback involved as well. Obviously, this um, playbook is really designed around Lamar Jackson and being a dual threat, and you're going to see that throughout. And then Split Twins is actually something that's in a few different playbooks. Not a whole lot, but it's definitely new to this year as well. So those first three formations are all new to Madden 22. You're going to see that you have the ability to basically um, have uh, different types of um, you know split formations that you're going to have um, two running backs and just be able to kind of throw and whatnot. What's really interesting about split twins is take a look at the tight end position. Um, he does get the ability to have um, wide receiver hot routes at the moment, which basically will give you the ability to kind of have slants and um, different things from that position that you may not have, um, you know, in other formations. So it's kind of an interesting uh, formation in itself. Now, Deuce Close is something that they've had. Wing slot week is new. Um, look at this Raven uh, double post, really nice, powerful type play where you've got that whip route from that second tight end. Something to look at and kind of build around. Um, not a huge amount of options in this uh, formation, but sometimes just having a one or two plays um, that can kind of uh, catch your opponent off guard is nice. Normal Y off close is a new formation as well. A double slant play looks really, really nice. And you've got some other things that you kind of build off of it. Normal Y off, um, you're going to see here that that was added as well. Something that's been in the game, um, you can see that these, um, you know, touch passes and jet pass powers, some things that have been bred brought in from the spread offense, we talked about it in the Bills playbook, is also in um, the Ravens. Flex by off week was there last year. Uh, Trio is there last year, but I want to talk about a few plays that they added. They added this power read play, this uh, dagger X out, uh, which is kind of a nice deep in route. And then you've got um, one more play, the buck sweep that has been added as well this year. Uh, bunch is the same, bunch offset, almost in the air last year. Now with spread Y flex, something that was there last year, but they've added this read counter bash play. You're going to see that in a couple different formations through uh, the Ravens playbook, which is really kind of a cool opportunity to where you're going to see that it's basically you're reading, but you have a counter with your quarterback. So it's kind of a delayed and you get some of those, um, in this instance, a, a tackle and a guard to pull with you. Um, so kind of a, a cool little thing here at Spread Y Flex. Um, you know, spread double flex is the same as last year. And then um, what you're gonna see here, tray open strong. Um, definitely something uh, you know from last year, or, or and then you got tray open. And then um, you know, you've got an empty here, but this is another unique one. Empties quads. It's only found in two playbooks, this and the Cardinals for my um, you know, uh, studies here. But what you're gonna see is that you got four people lined up to one side, one on the left. 
So this is gonna be kind of an interesting thing that's going to be uh, a little bit different to cover and people are gonna to have to adjust and uh, you know be able to kind of maybe catch people off guard. So something definitely to look at. It's a unique formation. Um, it's got um, this interesting wide receiver screen, as you can see here on the left. So um, combine that with a quarterback blast. It's not a draw, it's a blast. Um, it could be interesting to use um, and you know something that you kind of mix in. So that's why the Ravens came in at number two, um, just because it kind of got gutted and got some different formations in there and, and added some different things. Really feel like this is going to be a fun formation, for, uh, fun playbook for a lot of people to use if you like a mobile quarterback and um, you know like to mix in you know misdirection runs and, and kind of keep your uh, opponent off balance. So um, that's where it comes in on number two. Let's check out our number one uh, transformation when it comes to new playbooks this year. Now at number one, we're going to be looking at the Kansas City Chiefs. Now obviously in the NFL, Chiefs have one of the most potent offenses we've seen in recent years. And it all goes through the past game with Mahomes. And in Madden 22, this playbook definitely reflects that. Now, it's going to be something that, in my opinion, does not have all the meta formations that you've seen in the past. But what has been added to this and the collection of plays is really going to be something that people are going to enjoy this year when it comes to a playbook as a whole. And let's go over those changes now. So let's go ahead and take a look at the under center and um, pistol formations to see what was taken away. And then we'll jump in to show you what was added to replace those. So just in single back, all they were missing is the a slot. Everything else returns from last year. With I form, both the pro and the wing were removed. And then in pistol, the full house base was removed, but it was also replaced with another formation. So let's go take a look at those formations now. So as far as additions to single back in the Chiefs playbook, you have Deuce Y Flex. Now, this is a really nice formation uh, because it pairs well with Deuce Close in which it's got the same personnel. The biggest difference is instead of having that tight end that's gonna be closer to the tackle, he is now flexed out into a slot position and um, you're being able to basically audible from back and forth from that and Deuce Close. As you can see, you got some unique routes, some different things that you can kind of build around, have some fun with the offense, but I definitely think it's one that uh, when you pair it with these close, uh, have those two uh, together, you definitely have something that you can kind of run and, and um, you know, kind of toggle between the two. Now, as far as I-Form, we were talking about slot flex, the only thing that they have um, that was from last year, no other formations. Strong Jumbo is interesting because it's only in the Chiefs playbook, to my knowledge, and it's something that's going to be very similar to a goal line formation. And it's got the ability to kind of run inside, outside, fullback dive, power O, and whatnot. It's got some play action plays. And typically people have goal line defense, you know, throughout the year because goal line is definitely something that, you know, people will use. Um, and who knows that, you know, without getting a whole lot of time on the sticks, strong jumbo could definitely give a little bit of a different look and um, those goal line defenses may not work. Definitely something to look forward to to see if it's something that you can use to your advantage. Now, we close to something that is going to be a nice formation, uh, short yard situation. Has some nice routes and plays that you can build off of to keep your opponent off uh, honest when it comes to short yard positions, but you definitely got some run plays in there as well. Now for pistol, it got replaced the full house base with wing flex close and that's a major win because there's some unique routes on here that you kind of build around have some fun with use this as a formation that you can kind of get in and out of some of those single back formations that have the same uh, personnel grouping it's got a nice speed option in there it's kind of a fun thing um, to kind of use um, probably not a substantial base offense but something that you can kind of go in and out of so that's basically um, your single back um, and your under center formations with pistol. Let's go take a look at gun now. So with the gun formations, you can see that there are some that are no longer part of the playbook. But in my opinion, the ones that were removed were probably some of the uh, lesser effective ones. As you can see, it's bunch open tight end, bunch quads, bunch wide. Um, and you've got the doubles offset weak, wing stack, wide trips offset weak, and wing flex 
week. And what it was replaced with, in my opinion, makes this uh, playbook very fun. Uh, definitely got a nice upgrade when it comes to the ones that um, were in there and then combine that with some unique things like the Trey White Flex, the Trey White Flex, which is called Strong this year, but it's the same exact formation. Um, and some of the other ones in this playbook makes it a really fun, wide open type offense that if you're a passer, um, you're really gonna have a lot of fun with because a lot of these formations, in my opinion, also have nice run plays to go with it when it comes to passing formations. So let's go take a look at those. So the first addition to Shotgun is gonna be normal Y off close. A new formation this year which is really nice to where you have uh, basically gun doubles to um, one side and then you've got an ability to have a compression set to the other where the um, wide receiver is a little bit closer and you can see that you get some unique um, play designs here some unique ability to kind of do some touch passes um, and just kind of have some fun with that now doubles y off and flex y off uh, week were in the KC playbook before, so is Y off trips. But with Y off trips, you're gonna see some exclusive plays that are a little bit different, like Deep Stick, um, and has a little bit of a, a few plays that were added to this um, that makes this a little bit more special than it has in the past. Um, then you've got, um, as far as uh, new additions, what you're gonna see is the Bunch Y Flex, which is the new bunch formation that's got the tight end that is flexed out to the left while the bunch is to the right. We talked about this in a different um, you know, uh, team's video, uh, but it definitely has some really nice ability to uh, be effective uh, formation this year. Now, bunch halfback strong, something that was um, has been in the Buccaneers playbook for a little bit, uh, got added a couple more last year to others, but it's definitely one that gets overlooked um, because it's not typically you know, your normal bunch, but it's a lot of fun. It's got a read option in it this year. Um, you've got some different um, plays here that you can definitely use and um, keep your uh, opponent kind of off guard because now you also have bunch tight end. Now this bunch tight end isn't going to have all the plays that you've seen in uh, in the past uh, with like you know inside switch and all of those, but you can see the first play and get an RPO alert bubble, which is going to be something that you're going to kind of have people to have to worry about. This triple out play is going to be unique and new, and then you've also got you, know, you got X spot, you got. Uh, boot over, um, you got curl flat and mesh. So you do have options to be able to help yourself on it. It's definitely not all the bells and whistles for a bunch tight end, but with the two added plays, it's definitely gonna be something that's gonna be fun, uh, especially with everything else. Tight slots, spread double flex, pretty much the same. Now here's the fun part last year, Trey Y flex and then Trey Y flex strong has unique plays that um, are just different and definitely something that you can have some fun with, especially when you go back and forth where the only difference is the side in which the running back is on. So that's a nice little um, opportunity to have an offense if you want to do that. Trey Open Offset has some unique plays. Um, this Dig Wide Cross is new, um, definitely has some opportunities. And then you've got three empty formations. Empty Chiefs always been a great play. Empty Halfback Wide. Um, I believe it was Empty Niner last year. Um, it was added and it's got some uh, nice ability to um, take wide receivers and have them be blockers for you. So which is kind of a nice thing. Then you get the Empty Base Flex, which was definitely something that was used pretty often last year to kind of open up the field. Um, and just in general, the, um, the additions with the bunches between bunch tight end, the bunch halfback strong, the bunch wide flex, really makes this an interesting um, type of formation. And there's a bunch of other ones in here that I would not sleep on. Uh, the norm while off close, doubles by off, flex by off week. So my favorites to start the year um, are going to be, you know, as a collection, a really fun playbook that you can definitely put collections of formations together and really have some really fun offenses. So that's why Chiefs my number one as far as transformation goes. It definitely gives you an opportunity to kind of see a different playbook and have fun. It probably won't be as used just because it doesn't have a trips tight end, a normal bunch um, like others. So I think it's something that's gonna be fun to start the year with. So that wraps up our top five 
uh, playbooks to look at in the beginning of the year um, and the changes that happen. I know this is a little bit of a deep dive and I appreciate you guys that have um, stuck with us all the way to the end. Um, it's definitely appreciated and um, we definitely look forward to a great year. Check out our website at huddle.gg uh, for the best tips in Madden and we'd love to see you guys um, hit that subscribe button to YouTube. Free tips all year to help you get better at the game. Appreciate you. We'll catch you on the next video.